What's up everybody, it's a boy beam here. Uh, my hair looks pretty good. My skin looks incredible right now. It's kind of scary. Um, it's like after two days of using the steroid cream, my skin is like almost, almost completely better. It's sort of astonishing. I was told to use a quarter of a grain of rice every night and just through that, my skin looks really good. And that's crazy because that means that's a really, really strong that steroid cream. My hands are also looking a little better. They're still, of course, they've got scabs on and, and stuff, but um, you know, they, they look way better than they used to uh, and they don't itch really ever. Um, yeah. Uh, I made my thumbnail again before I recorded my video. I really like this one. Uh, I just been thinking about ski goggles. I wanted to get a better, more interesting photo, but all the ski goggle photos online that sort of that are to the side where I can put it on a sphere um, all of them are like skiing sea goggles, but I'm really thinking the vision, right, is for like those crazy looking like Balenciaga ski goggles that they sell. The reason why I've got ski goggles on the mind is because, um, I saw this YouTube short and it's like guys who wear ski goggles and apparently there's a subsect of guys in sort of like streetwear who have big giant like ski goggles, usually from designer brands like Balenciaga. Um, they have these big designer ski goggles and the ski goggles are like here on their face and it's just sort of wrapping around their head and it looks like a headband, but there's sort of a, like a thing on their head. And uh, I don't know, maybe I'm biased because it's Balenciaga and I like Demna, but um, you know, I think, I think it's a very interesting uh, silhouette and I think it's an interesting object with good geometry, just ski goggles just on the side of your head. Uh, I wouldn't wear it, I think. I, you know, I don't think I could pull it off, but um, you know, I respect people who are confident enough to go for that. And uh, I really respect the geometry of it and I like the concept of ski goggles. So I was able to, I, as you can, as you look at my video from 10 days ago, uh, steps, uh, I just accidentally made a sphere. So I made another sphere uh, and then I did some other interesting stuff that you can only see close up. Um, so yeah, I'm just hanging out today. Um, today I woke up at 10. Uh, I was gonna wake up, no. Yeah, yeah, okay, I was, I was gonna wake up at 11, but my mom was like, well, I made coffee, so you won't get coffee if you wake up at 11, and it was at 10, so I could just got up, I got seven hours of sleep, which is not ideal, but what can you do? Um, I hung out, I watched my dad watch the video that Mark has proudly uh, uploaded about the Cybertruck. I watched it, and I really wanted my dad to watch it because um, he's not into Teslas. I'm sort of into Teslas. I think they're very cool electric cars and probably the best electric cars out right now, um, mostly because of the charging network. And uh, you know, I think it's important to just to be aware of them. Uh, it's like knowing about the new iPhone. You know, it's, it's just interesting to see what's going on over there considering they're sort of on the cutting edge of car technology. Um, and the Cybertruck looks interesting. It looks cool, in my opinion. My dad doesn't really like it, but you know, he doesn't like Tesla. But that's just because he doesn't like Elon Musk. And Elon Musk is sort of hands off from Tesla right now. Um, you know, he's working on Twitter primarily. Uh, yeah, so then after that, my mom made a very, very nice egg mac muffin sandwich, and that was really good. Um, I made coffee, it was, it was really tasty. Um, and then I took a shower, uh, and then we put up the Christmas tree halfway. Uh, you know, you put it up. We've had this Christmas tree since 2001. Um, it's just a artificial Christmas tree. You put the little sticks in and you fan out the little branches. Oh. You fan out the little branches and you know, I, I, it looks it looks good. Like it looks like a tree, you know, it looks real. Um, well, it doesn't, look, it doesn't look real, it looks plastic, but you know, it looks real enough, right? And so, you know, we plugged it in, we put the lights up, we put the beads up, we haven't put the ornaments on or the candy canes on yet. So that's for later. But, you know, um, yeah, so, um, my, uh, a friend of mine also had, was having some connection issues on my Minecraft server and it led to him dying. So, uh, I tried restarting the server and updating it and I forgot to turn it back on and he just added me and he was like, hey, is the server off? And I'm like, oh yeah, let me put it back on. So I turned it back on and he found his item. So I'm happy about that. Uh, but yeah, so we put up the Christmas tree. We actually ran out of lights. So we had to run to the store to get more lights. 
luckily there were three boxes of lights left. I bet, you know, early December, everybody's gonna be putting their Christmas tree up. So it makes sense. Uh, um, what else? Yeah, then my mom made the pizza and that was really good. The plate is right here. I always have a plate on my desk when I record my video. Sorry guys. Um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Um, oh yeah, and then my dad, I was like, I was talking about how nice it would be if we had some spark plugs um, that we could connect through a home kit. Uh, because if whenever we want to turn off the Christmas tree lights, we have to go down to the power strip and unplug the Christmas tree. And it would be much easier if we could just tell the iPhone assistant uh, when we wanted to turn on and off the lights on the Christmas tree or just say on our Apple TV or something like that. So we don't have to bend over and unplug the lights. And it's a pretty first world problem, but it's only a, you know, a first world problem with a $20 solution. So I was just telling him, you know, maybe we should get smart switches. And you know, I'll subsidize, I'll pay half, you know, if you get some smart switches. Um, and so we ended up getting four uh, because there was a deal. And my dad was like, well, if we're getting smart switches, we might as well get smart light bulbs. What? What? So uh, he got two sets of three smart light bulbs. Uh, so now we have six smart light bulbs and four smart outlets arriving, uh, which is just crazy. They're all connected through matter, which is cool. I love matter. I, I did a lot of smart home research today. Uh, they're all connected through matter. Um, the light bulbs are connected through thread. The, um, the, but the smart switches are connected through Wi-Fi, which is fine. We have good Wi-Fi, but you know, I'm gonna, sorry, I just heard the dryer go off. I'm gonna grab it. Uh, I got it, it's just right there. Um, yeah, so today is day three of December. I've already eaten some chocolate today, which is irritating, but you know, I've been eating chocolate. Here it is, right here. Let's open it up. At the beginning of the 24 days of Christmas series, I was really bad at doing this in front of the camera. I'd go like this and like show it as I did it. Like I'd move back and forth, but I feel like now I'm pretty good at it. And it's a train. Focus. Focus. It's so over guys, it won't focus. Well, you can see that it's a train. Whoa, that was crazy. Um, tastes good. Tastes like advent calendar chocolate. And yeah. Alright, see you dude.